For the first part of this trip to the Peak District, I stayed at the Duke of York campsite near Buxton. It's in the White Peak area of the Peak District. Using the Adventurer's Guide to Britain, I planned to see Thor's Cave on the first day. I set off from Grindon over the open countryside towards the Manifold Valley. The path takes you to a National Trust area called Ladyside and you follow the valley along the top and on the right hand side you'll soon see the cave. Behind me is called Thor's Cave here in the Peak District. It's a fairly deep uh, cave I understand and I'm going to go and have a quick explore. It's a steep climb into the cave but it's really worth it. From inside there are great views over the Manifold Valley. From here I headed towards the village of Wetton through some muddy fields and along some tracks. There's a good tea shop in Wetton if you have time to stop. Well that was uh, Thor's Cave. Uh, it was a great little uh, spot to go and see, really worthwhile. Uh, quite slippy inside and steep but uh, really good fun. Um, now I'm off uh, been to the village of Wetton heading towards uh, Alston Field and uh, it's a bit open, the countryside's opened up a bit and um, I'm going to go and walk to Alston's Field and stop for lunch. After lunch it started to rain heavily. Right, you can probably tell it's raining. Um, been through Alston Field. I'm just coming down the hill now into Dovedale. It's a popular spot in the Peak District. Go up there for a short while, then I'll come out of it and head west again. Um, so I'm about um, a third of the way through now, and it's pretty wet. I'll see you later. That's uh, rather slippy slope down from the top of the, uh, the uh, dale. Um, I'm uh, right down the bottom of Dovedale now. Uh, just walking over this uh, footbridge and uh, over the river. Uh, so it's uh, pretty uh, heavy with um, rainfall. Um, now I'm just going to go up, hang on left here and um, head up the uh, Dovedale for a, a short spell and then um, uh, log back in and see how we're doing on with the, uh, with the weather. The walk along Dovedale is easy going which makes it a popular route. Back at the base camp now, it is uh, dark now outside. I've uh, walked out to Thor's Cave, then up to Dovedale and then round and back in again, back to the village called Grindon where I parked my car. And uh, it was good fun, really good. However, there was only one problem with it. There were, today there was some biblical rain and I got the most uh, incredible soaking right through to my boots, into my socks and uh, everywhere was wet bar I think the back of my head um, which was under my hood but it was good fun I did uh, about 13 miles and um, I'll mark that up on the blog uh, when I do this um, but uh, it was good fun back in the base camp is nice and cozy uh, you can see behind me this is like a, uh, a laundry now it's got uh, I've got all my kit uh, hanging up here drying out and uh, it's still lashing it down outside with these uh, pretty high gusts as well so uh, anyway I'm gonna go to the Duke of York pub now and have a pint and warm up. The food at the Duke of York is really good too. A few weeks later I came back in the snow with my brother Dan. We stayed at Upperhurst Farm campsite where Yvonne the site manager showed us to our pitch that night. Overnight it got down to minus two degrees centigrade and we woke up to the most glorious sunrise. Later that morning we walked down the Manifold Valley from Hume End to Wetton Mill. From there we walked to the north of Wetton Hill towards the camping barn near Alston Field. There we stopped in the winter sunshine and had some lunch. That afternoon we wanted to watch some rugby in the comfort of the base camp. So we set up the Maxview Remora 40 satellite dish with an Agvitex 9 Series Pro TV with a built-in decoder. We watched TV for the rest of the evening and ate while the temperature outside dropped to minus 8. Upperhurst Farm is a great site in a beautiful location in the White Peak which is less rugged than the Dark Peak but no less interesting. <laughs> 